Hey, what is up guys? So my Julius Cruz here. We're gonna play some Ultra Street Fighter 4 arcade mode on the hardest difficulty setting. So here we go. Which is loading with hurry up. Ah, that took a while. Anyway, okay, we're gonna go with Chun Li or Pride, as I like to call her. We're gonna go use her ultra combo double. And uh, there should be a cutscene here. Yes, here we go. Now one thing I wanna comment about this little cutscene real quick is that Guile, right now, he looks like an ape. All hunched over that laptop, you know what I mean? He just looks weird. He, I mean, he does. He just looks like somebody with, uh, I don't know. I've got no idea how to describe that. Seth, uh, I wish they would just uh, have Seth uh, dressed like that at all times, uh, to be honest. Uh, no Sagat here. That's interesting. Vega, Vega looks cool there. Bison looks badass. Oh, yeah, he looks badass. Check that out. Then we cut to the lovely Chun Li here. She's saying what she's saying. She oh, she's looking for clues about her father. Come on, he's dead. Let him stay buried. Ugh. Anyway, I mean, she's obsessed with her father. I think in every single Street Fighter game, she's always like, "Oh, my father, this, my father, that." It's like, you know what I mean? It's a character we never, we don't, we don't even know what he looks like. To my knowledge, I have got no idea. But uh, yeah, she wants him to keep an eye on her. Apparently, so we'll uh, let her dream. You know what I mean? Let her dream. All right, so who is my first opponent? That's what I want to know. It should be... And, of course, it's Yang, one of the twins. I freaking hate the twins, to be honest. Uh, I, I hate fighting them. I hate using them. I just don't like them. But uh, I will say this. Yoon is the better of the twins. If I had to use one of them, I would, I would go with Yoon. Yang? I don't know. There's something about Yang. Just, he's just never really... Uh, uh, he's never really caught my eye, to be honest. Okay, that was sweet. Blocks that overhead. He, he, yeah, Yang's never really caught my eye. And uh, I'm sure somebody's watching this and wondering, uh, why the hell am I... Why did I re-upload this or whatever? This is actually my original vision of the Ultra Street Fighter 4 uh, arcade mode. Because a while back, I think like seven or eight months ago, I uploaded the arcade mode with Chun-Li on Hardest. But then I recorded that with my easy cap. Uh, it looked like crap. Uh, it had no commentary. I wanted to add commentary though, but I, at the time I just couldn't add commentary. And uh, I just I decided to re-upload it again because now that I have my HDMI grabber, I can record in HD. It looks great. It looks beautiful. I have my headset. I can add commentary. So that's kind of why we're we're here today. Um, about the HDMI grabber, I do plan to make a, a mini review because I'm sure that some people are wondering, you know, what it looks like, uh, how does it work, how do you set it up, etc. That was a sweet combo, but I, I dropped the, I dropped it there. Anyway, so yeah, I'm sure people are wondering, you know, what, what, what does it look like, uh, how do you set it up, you know, that sort of stuff. So in the future, I will make a, a, a review of the HDMI grabber. I'll probably show how to set it up, uh, that sort of stuff. But anyway, let's focus here on the Ultra Street Fighter 4 arcade mode. I just beat y uh, Yang easily, I might add. And this is, uh, this is on hardest, by the way. Yeah, another thing I want to mention is that I'm actually feeling a little bit under the weather right now as I record this. Uh, when I don't know why, when I woke up today, my, my legs were uh, extremely sore for some reason. I have got no idea why. Um, it's possible that some, some kind of cold or something is starting because that's usually how colds start with me. Like, my back will hurt. Uh, throw, I'll wake up, my throat will be on fire, that sort of stuff. So it's possible that... Uh, I have some kind of cold going on. It's possible. Not sure. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I want to comment on this real quick. Uh, Hakan. Yeah, I remember uh, a former friend of mine. I remember telling him that uh, I really would like for Hakan to be a female uh, fighter. I mean, that would, I think that would be interesting, you know, with the oil and that sort of stuff. I remember telling him that I really would like for the in Street Fighter Five for Armika, all the female fighters, basically, to have what, what I like to call an oil mold. So in the oil mode, they're, uh, you know, they're in bathing suits, that sort of stuff. Okay, that was sweet. That, that was actually a combo. They would be in bathing suits uh, with oil, and you could just oil them up. I think that would be interesting. If I was a Capcom, I, I would have certainly put that in there into uh, Street Fighter V. I think that would have been awesome. I think the sale, it would have helped the sales, I'm sure. <laughs> but, uh, you know what I mean? I, I would have loved to have seen that. An, an oil mold, you know what I mean? Like we got, we got a guy. A guy, he's gonna oil up whatever. I mean, who cares? You know what I mean? Some guy, he's some dude. I want to see, I want to see the female uh, fighters uh, oil up. Like for example, Armika. That would be freaking awesome. Armika and her friend. I have got no idea what the hell her name is. Uh, I think um, Kareen as well. Chun Li. Uh, 
Yuri when eventually they uh, they make her available. And I screwed this up. Oh my god, I can't believe I made this uh, mistake here. He had the Ultra 2 and I still jumped in. I've got no idea what the hell I was thinking there, but um, you know what happens. I don't think... Uh, he, I'm, he's, I'm not going to let him beat me this round. Yeah, he can, yeah, he ate that EX Spinning Bird Kick. Very nice. I'm actually loving these uh, these stages, by the way. These stages were copy-pasted from Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And I think they're great. They really uh, they really add a little bit of uh, variety to the uh, the stages here in uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4. I wish they would add uh, more stages, to be honest. But uh, obviously, that's not going to happen now with uh, Street Fighter 5 out. But uh, that, would, that would be cool. I would love that. All right, who is my next opponent? Actually, this, I love the stage, by the way. DJ, <laughs> that's interesting. I, I had to take on DJ in uh, when I was playing the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. So now Ultra Street Fighter 4, I gotta take on DJ as well. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I've fought some really good uh, DJ players uh, online. I remember this one guy. I don't, I don't remember his name. I don't remember his PSN ID right now. But there was this one guy with DJ. I could never beat the guy. I have got no idea why. The dude, the dude was just insanely freaking good. I simply couldn't beat him. The one guy, and it was a DJ. I remember one time, one time I had him. I almost had him. I was just going to chip him out. I got greedy. I said, I'm going to chip him out. And then what he did was he did the EX, uh, uh, Sobat Kicks, uh, whatever the hell they're called. The, 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 but yeah, that, that move right there. He did that EX version. He went right clean through my fireball, and then he chipped me out. So that was it. That was the closest I ever got to beating him. He screwed that ultra up. And uh, I don't remember his PSN ID right now, um, but dude was good. Dude was insanely freaking good uh, with DJ. Probably the best DJ I ever fought. I mean, I couldn't beat him, so that, uh, that says it all right there. All right, so I just beat this DJ right here easily. This is on. I want to remind the viewer that this is on hardest, by the way. We're playing on hardest. <laughs> I'm loving the hippo in the back, by the way. That's actually why I love the stage. This stage is really cool. It has all those animals in the background. It goes from there's like an eclipse. I don't know. It just it looks great. Okay. Oh, uh, I dropped that. Let's see what we got here. Come on. Oh. What the hell was that? Oh, okay, EX Spinning Bird Kick. Very nice. Yeah, I actually hate that move. That freaking sweep he does. I hate it. But it's, it's a classic, though. He's always had that sweep, so it's cool. Oh. Gets me with a red focus. Hmm. Nice. That was sweet. He dropped that. And let's see what happens here. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Did you see that? Yeah, he actually, I'm not, he, he read my freaking the fireball, and what the hell was that? He literally screwed that up. I screwed it up as well. But, uh, okay, got him. Got him with the sweep. Very nice. So, you know, I just want to comment on my uh, the HDMI grabber. You know, the, the, the games that I'm recording with the HDMI, the HDMI grabber, they look great. They look absolutely amazing. I would say that it's the best uh, 50 bucks I've ever spent, uh, to be honest. Uh... I just had to get it, you know. I mean, I was tired of my uh, videos looking like crap. I was tired of uh, having to upscale the videos. Like, I don't know if you guys uh, saw this, but I, I uploaded a little. Uh, I did like a let's play of Resident Evil 6, and uh, that was three parts. It took 36 hours to upscale all three parts. So that was. Uh, I said to myself, "No, that's it. You know, I mean, screw this. I, I gotta, I gotta upgrade the, my my equipment. This is just no good. 36 hours to me was completely unacceptable." But uh, let's talk about the game here. So we're beating the crap out of, uh, I don't know, Johnny Depp's car right now. Let's say it's Johnny Depp's car. That's interesting. As you can see, I'm just doing the knee here. That's the fastest way to beat, uh, to, to break the car, uh, to be honest. And uh, actually, I remember there's uh, that guy called uh, Hagger, Mike Hagger. He actually shows up sometimes. If you break the car insanely freaking fast, he shows up and he's like, my car! Something like that. And Blanca, of course. You know, this is going to be a very boring match. I can already tell. This is going to be just... Uh, because Blanca is one of those characters where he can just... Um, he can just crouch down the whole match. And he can just sit there the entire freaking match. And there's not a whole lot you can do. So it's actually insanely freaking hard to, to enter. To get in with Chun-Li against Blanca, I would say. And see, there, there he goes. He starts doing the hop, blah, blah. You don't know if he's going to go for a grab. You don't know if he's going to go for a sweep. You don't know if he's going to go for the electricity. You don't know if he's going to go for another ball, etc. So that's, uh, that's one thing. Oh, my God. See what I mean? Hop, hop. Two hops. Got the hop. That's the one thing I really hate about uh, Blanca. And I'm actually uh, really glad that he's not in uh, Street Fighter V. I hope they never add him to Street Fighter V, to be honest. Uh, no offense to the uh, Blanca players that may be watching. But that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? I freaking hate Blanca. I hate El Fuerte as well. 
That was sweet. I mean, I, I hate El Fuerte a little bit more than uh, than Blanca, to be honest. Uh, I have my reasons, though. Um, that's just the way it is. Hey, look at that. Jay Rizala. Now online. I haven't talked with him in a while. But uh, anyway, okay, nice. Punch him right in the face. He gets me with a sweep. See what I mean? That's all he does. That's all the... the, the, the I can't believe that actually got me. That's all these Blancas do. They just start hopping all over the place. It's just insanely freaking annoying. You don't know as soon as they get a knockdown, it's pretty much over. See what I mean? See what I mean? Got to be extremely freaking patient, and you got to be extremely good with the reach, which is actually hard to do against, obviously, the AI. But uh, see what I mean? He went for a grab. Hop into the grab, hop into the sweep, hop into electricity, hop into this, hop into that, hop into ultra, hop into blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? It's just insanely freaking annoying. I actually, I hope I don't lose this round. I'll try my best here not to lose a round. But, uh, okay, I got a counter in there. That was nice. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I got him. Nice. I got him. Very nice. Lovely. He actually almost beat me, but that's the thing. I just, I just freaking hate Blanca. Blanca is like a very uh, troll-friendly character. That's what he is. Just an insanely troll-friendly character. Just very annoying. But uh, thank God it's over. It's done. It's out of the way. We don't got to worry about Blanca showing up anymore. Like, let's see my next opponent is Abel. Okay. Very interesting. Let's see what happens. You actually love fighting Abel. I don't mind fighting Abel, to be honest. I mean, there are characters, obviously, that I hate fighting, like I said, Blanca and El Fuerte. But Abel is one of those characters that I, I, I don't mind. Uh, it's just, yeah, he has a couple of things that annoy me, like the uh, the, the, the axe kick that he does uh, breaks armor and is also an overhead. But uh, other than that, that's the only issue that I have with him. That freaking uh, axe kick is too damn good. Uh, in my opinion, okay, that was pretty good. In my opinion, when you have a special move, it should do one or the other. It shouldn't be both. Like, for example, like I just said, the axe kick he does, it's a it's an overhead as well as an armor breaker. Why? It, to me, if it, was, if it was me, if I was in control of that, I would have said, no, no, no. It can only do one or both. It do one or the other. It's either an overhead or, or, it, either, or it breaks armor. One or the other. Which one do you... Uh, which one should we put in there? You know what I mean? That's how I would have done it. It's like Rolento, for example, as well. He also has a move. Same thing. It breaks armor and it's an overhead. It's just a sailor for And Makoto as well. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's where it gets kind of uh, kind of interesting. But, uh, okay, this is a sweet combo and I dropped it. I've got... Oh, my God. He got me. Yeah, because I dropped it. Yeah, I'm actually playing this right now with my uh, Xbox 360 controller. And uh, I, I can see that... Uh, I'm not uh, doing very good with it. <laughs> not doing very good with it at all. But uh, for some reason, my uh, my EX legs aren't coming out with the uh, with the X Xbox 360 controller. Um, see what I mean? The uh, the triggers the triggers just aren't very good for the for the EX Lightning legs. Uh, in my opinion, I mean you gotta. Uh, it's just uh, the way they're built. They're not very uh, the, the the I don't I just don't like the triggers. The triggers are sort of uh, for uh, first-person shooters, like they made it with uh, first-person shooting games uh, in mind. So uh, that's why they're like that. Okay, so we're at here at the bonus stage uh, with Chun Li. This is actually this is this fun. This bonus stage actually really is a lot of fun because you have this guy. He's controlling all of the friggin' barrels, and uh, yeah, he did a taunt there. The uh, just gotta break him, just gotta break the barrels, you know what I mean? It's like uh, Donkey Kong is somewhere, he's the one tossing the barrels, by the way. The dude is pressing the lever, but it's actually Donkey Kong, the one that's uh, that's throwing them down the uh, down the walkway there. But uh, yeah, it's actually insanely freaking easy. I mean, there's not a whole lot to do here, just as soon as the barrel comes down, just hit it with a with a heart attack, heart punch, heart kick, etc. There's not really a whole lot to do here. I remember back, uh, I used to try to to do combos and stuff on the barrels, and then I realized that it was just kind of a waste of time. So I said, screw it, you know what I mean? I just go like this, see what I mean? Guy's all happy, he's celebrating over there. Hey, she got him, she got all the barrels. Yay, now I gotta set him up again for the next fighter. Oh, oh shit, crap. So, yeah. Okay, who is my next opponent? Blast Furnace. Oh, oh I love this stage. Ah, oh, Makoto, huh? Look who's here, Sloth herself. You know, when I was playing uh, Street Fighter 3, the arcade mode, I also ran into Makoto. So that's actually, uh, that's really cool. I had to fight on Street Fighter 3, now I gotta fight on Street Fighter 4. DJ, I fought on Street Fighter 2, then I had to fight him on Street Fighter 4. So that's really cool. But let's see what this uh, Makoto can do. I actually love using Makoto, by the way. I said that as well in my, uh, 
Street Fighter 3 uh, Let's Play. I freaking love Makoto. Like, he's, she's actually my favorite. One, one of my favorites, anyway, of the Seven Deadly Sins. She's just, uh... She's just really cool. Uh, just a really cool little character. Uh, she's actually... She got raped here. <laughs> S uh, Sloth got destroyed here. But, uh, yeah, she's a really cool character. The one character I really... I don't know what's going on. I, I can't play the character anymore. It's Viper. Um, she's a uh, lust. I just I can't play her anymore. Like I don't know what the hell it is. I pick her and I get freaking destroyed. So I just I have got no idea. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. To be honest, uh, I gotta go back to the uh, drawing board with her. That was a sweet combo. Okay, that was uh, stupid of me jumping in there. He, she does the ultra two here. Yeah, I actually forgot here that it. Uh, she follows it up. There's like three more hits afterwards. Can't believe I forgot about that. Okay, that was sweet. That was freaking sweet. Block her overhead. She didn't block my sweep. Very nice. Okay, this was a good fight. Probably my favorite fight till now of this uh, arcade mode. Playing the arcade mode on the uh, hardest. Ah, uh, look at that. Look at Chun Li. She's so humble. If you have any flyers for your dojo, yeah, she'll hang up all the flyers. She got a lot of time on her hands, apparently. Okay, the rival, I think it's going to be Yuri. Yeah. North America driving a night. Yuri. Actually, this Yuri, when I. Uh, Whenever you fight this Yuri that runs in, runs into you here in arcade mode, uh, she's actually insanely freaking annoying. Like she just spams spams the uh, the pin, the pinwheel kick, the light one. She just spams it all day freaking long. There's uh, two uh, nice asses there. Oh, I love this part. I love this line. Ooh yeah, she's got a little schoolgirl crush. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, oh, I'll bet she does. Hell yeah, they're gonna do things after the fight is over. They're gonna do things. And uh, hopefully they'll record it and uh, post it online for everybody to see. That would be freaking awesome. But uh, obviously, no, it's not going to happen. But uh, let's see what we got here. Drop the hard punch there. See what I mean? See what I mean? Just spamming that pinwheel kick. The light one. I mean, I remember... <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. But I remember one time, I had this guy on my friends list. And uh, he would literally tell me not to pick Yuri. It was absolutely freaking insane. Like He would always go, like, oh, don't pick Yuri, Cruz. Don't pick Yuri. If you pick Yuri, I'm not going to kick you. And I was like, have you ever heard of anything like that? Somebody telling you don't pick X or Y character in a game? Absolutely freaking insane. And he actually did it one time. I remember one time, the we were going to fight. And I, was, I just I said, screw it. I'm going to pick Yuri. You know, who the hell is this guy? And then well, as soon as I pick Yuri, he literally, he just rage quit right there. So, uh, okay, that was stupid of me. I blocked that when obviously I didn't have the stamina left to block that. She chipped me out. Not bad. Okay, let's see what happens this round. I can't lose. I actually refuse to freaking lose. Okay. See? Oh, I dropped the EX Lex there. I'm actually loving the cars in the background. Check out the cars in the background. Just jumping all over the place. I wish I had a car like that. That would be freaking awesome. Can you imagine going to Burger King or to some sort of a drive through or something in one of those? That would be freaking awesome. You'll be like, Hello, welcome to Burger King. What can I get for you? Yeah, I won. Did the car goes up. Yeah, a Whopper. And the car goes up. Two French fries. And the car goes up again. You know what I mean? That would be freaking insane. That would be awesome. That would be that would be great. And check out the guy in the back there. Look at how happy he is. He's just jumping all over the place. That random woman beat that other random woman. Good God almighty, that's awesome. And then, oh, I dropped the stumps. It's actually really rare. I rarely ever drop those, drop those stumps. And she grabs me there. See what I mean? See what I mean? Just spamming that pinwheel. Spamming that pinwheel. I don't hold on. Oh, she actually ate that. That's cool. Yeah, she actually gives me a free super right here. Check this out. Thanks for the free super there, uh, Yuri. Got some nice damage right there with the super. Very nice. Now I got her. Oh, she teched it. I got her. I got her right where I want her. Oh, that was sweet. Nice any air. Oh, wait a second. Oh, my God. Got her. Punched her right in the face. And as you can see, it said counter hit. So that means that she probably did the 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 light pinwheel kick. So I punched her right out of it. That was freaking awesome. So what would your parents think if they saw you? Know, yeah, it would be interesting. I would love to see what her uh, parents look like, uh, especially uh, her mother. But uh, I think that would be cool. But uh, let's see here. Now it's time for the, the big bad boss himself, Seth. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Gotta, I, I gotta destroy this guy. Um, to be honest, uh, I fought Akuma in Street Fighter 2. I fought Gil in Street Fighter 3. Both of them gave me a hard time. So we'll see what happens with this Seth. 
We'll see what happens. My plan is to destroy him the first time. That's actually my plan right now. Okay, checking out that ass. Oh, I'll show you your power, boy. All of it. So this is actually a really cool stage because this stage was actually in Street Fighter 4. Except in Street Fighter 4 it wasn't, uh, you know, crumbling or... Uh, and when I say Street Fighter 4, I mean vanilla Street Fighter 4. For Super Street Fighter 4, they made some uh, adjustments to the stage and what the hell is he doing? Thanks for the free combo there, Seth. Okay, that was a trade, not bad. And he gives me another combo again. Well, I dropped it anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's see what we got here. Okay, another combo. Yeah, first round, he is insanely freaking easy. And there he goes. He's, he gives me another run combo. Got him dizzy. Will this be enough? And no. Ah, oh, SPD, not bad. I should have gone for the... Should have done a backdash right there, but oh well. And oh, I screwed up. He got me with the ultra. Okay. Yeah, not a good idea to just do uh, random EX spin and bird kicks like that. But uh, doesn't matter. I mean, look, look at my stamina. Look at his stamina. There's no way in hell he can... Uh, Okay, that was good. EX is okay. And then I just punched him right in the balls. And that's it. I slapped him in the balls, actually. And uh, now he just, he kind of shows off his muscles here. Check this out. Showing off those biceps, though, that six pack. Whatever the hell he's got. That yin yang ball he's got in the uh, in his stomach. I don't know what the hell that's about. I read it. I knew he was going to do that. Okay, see what I mean? Ah, oh, this was a nice combo. Wow, I actually already got him dizzy. That's freaking awesome. Got a sweet combo in there. Very nice. I'm actually going to destroy... You know, I'm just going to destroy this guy. Got the combo in there again. Nice. Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. Going to destroy him. Come on. Okay, I thought he was going to do the SPD there, but he didn't do it. Ah, he got me with this. Okay, not bad. And uh, let's see, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. I can get this guy. Yes. That's it. I think he's done. That's it. It's done. Got him. Very nice. Very nice. He actually... Uh, wow. Seth was actually insanely uh, freaking easy. Like, I don't even know what to say. I, I freaking destroyed him. Gil gave me a hard time. Akuma gave me a hard time. But this guy, he was insanely freaking easy. And anyway, let's enjoy the ending. You know what? I'm not even going to talk uh, during the ending. I'm just going to leave it right here, uh, my uh, commentary. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, Let's Play. This is my, my original vision. This is how I wanted to upload it the first time. But I just couldn't. I didn't have the means. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll uh, see you later. Please make sure to comment, rant, and subscribe, but the most important thing is to enjoy the content later. After all is said and done, I think I was also doing it for myself. There's so much more I could be doing. I owe it to myself. That's why I've decided to keep being a cop for now. Sounds good.